So you, you heard uh, I, I have done some things in film, video, and art, and today we we talk about Kandinsky and the Kandinsky pattern and how to use this in explainability of AI algorithms. What what to expect the next uh, 45 minutes? Yeah? A little background on testing machine intelligence. Uh, the introduction of Kandinsky pattern and then an application of a Kandinsky challenge which can apply it for humans and machines and to compare how do humans explain some patterns, how do machines explain. So what is the uh, grand goal? Uh, AI, that, that's real and hype today. So and if, if you read the media, uh, if you uh, read some business news, uh, they, they say AI will solve everything. But, but even the scientific community, they, they state uh, if we uh, achieve strong AI, if we solve intelligence, uh, then we can solve everything else. But is this really true? Uh, and this is nothing I say. If, if you look at the uh, YouTube video, which is here from Dennis Hassabis, he states exactly this in 2015. But what, what are the steps necessary to, to reach a level of usable intelligence? So uh, we have to learn from pr prior data. Yeah? We have to extract knowledge. And th this is uh, valid for humans and algorithms. Yeah? We have to generalize. Yeah? Uh, a algorithm uh, has to guess where the, where the probability mass function concentrates. Yeah? We humans uh, do it in another way. Yeah? But then the point four and five, it's also very important. Yeah? We, we have to distinguish the underlying explanatory factors of data, and we have to understand the data in the context of the application domain. Yeah? So uh, in the yesterday keynote, we had a very good introduction about names, about hierarchies, about context. Yeah? And also here, it's very important to bring the explanation, the why, yeah, into a certain context of an application domain. And why measuring is uh, important, yeah? why measuring of intelligence is an important stuff. So let's take a, a quote of uh, Lord Kelvin. He said, if you can't measure it, nor assign an exact numerical value, nor express it in numbers, then your knowledge is of meager and uns unsatisfactory kind. Yeah? And we agree to this. So it's, we, we don't want to, to talk in a soft and weak blah, blah, uh, style, yeah? we want to measure. Yeah? And the question is, can we measure uh, 